medicine and you'll be fine don't worry Ooh. hi there how are you doing are you fine yes okay remember me teacher graven welcome once again to learning at home bienvenidas y bienvenidos a aprendo en casa how are you feeling today are you feeling fine good excited oh that's awesome okay are you ready to explore learn and have lots of fun well this is the right place to be do you have your notebook and your pencils ready yes oh that's interesting so today we have another friend but where is he let me see mm, what's that let's see we're having a new classmate today are you ready to meet him yeah hello oh hello buddy what's your name my name is daniel nice to meet you daniel nice to meet you too how old are you i'm eight years old oh you're eight and where are you from i'm from costa rica oh very good are you happy to be here yes i'm very much happy oh you're you're very happy today cool Okay, I have a question for you and for Elmer and for Daniel. We have many classmates today. Did you wash your hands? No, not yet. Okay, I'm going to give you 20 seconds to go and wash your hands. Meanwhile, today we are going to look some videos from YouTube in order to learn English. Those videos are used only for educational purposes. El día de hoy observaremos algunos videos right, que fueron seleccionados de YouTube para aprender inglés, pero serán utilizados únicamente con fines educativos. ¿Ok? Are you ready? Nice. Do you want to say something to Elmer and to your classmates at home? Yes, I would like to invite the whole family. Oh, that means ask your parents, your father, your mother, your brother and sister to please come here and join us. Oh, good. Um, Daniel, you look sick. Oh, well, I'm sorry, I'm kind of sick today. And what is the matter with you? Well, I have a runny nose and uh, I have fever. Oh, <laughs> you should go to the doctor. Can you guess his disease? Does he have coronavirus? flu, cold, or dengue fever? Okay, yeah, he has a cold. Uh, should he go to the doctor, drink lemon juice, or take medicine? Or what about rest in bed? Okay, he should drink lemon juice, very good. Now, uh, I have something for you. Today we're gonna have something very Ah, uh, cool for you. I'm going to give you a riddle. Más adelante vamos a tener algo muy chiva para ustedes. Voy a darles un acertijo. Y hasta el final del programa les daré la respuesta. ¿Ok? Maybe you can ask your teachers, your family, your friends. You can send messages. Pueden preguntarle a sus profesoras o profesores de inglés. Pueden preguntarle a sus familias, sus amigos o sus amigas. Pueden enviarse mensajes de texto para ver si investigan cuál es la respuesta de ese acertijo. Pero más adelante, todavía no. Ok, not yet. Now, Teacher Graven, what are we going to learn today? Oh, that's a very good question. 
Today, we have our lesson goals. So let's take a look at this presentation. Vamos a observar esta presentación, okay? <clears throat> Today, you are going to describe common diseases, symptoms, and treatments. Prepare simple reminders or notes for personal use. And we are going to read words by decoding English graphemes and phonemes with letter Z. El día de hoy ustedes describirán enfermedades comunes, sus síntomas y tratamientos. Prepararán algunos recordatorios simples o notas y van a leer palabras que contengan la letra Z. ¿Ok? Oh, that's very interesting, teacher Graven. Yes, that's very interesting. And uh, what about if we have the next presentation? ¿Ok? Because I want to ask you some questions. Voy a hacerles unas preguntas. And also some questions for you, Daniel. So let's take a look at this presentation, please. So we are going to practice. We are going to practice today, ¿ok? Maria is a girl from Guanacaste, and she's really sick. She has fever and body pain. She has fever and body pain, ¿ok? Now, can you guess her disease? ¿Pueden ustedes adivinar qué enfermedad tiene María de acuerdo a sus síntomas? Ok. Devolvámonos a la diapositiva anterior. Vamos a repasar esos síntomas. Ok. So, María has fever and body pain. Can you guess her disease? Well, that's kind of tough. Mm, es un poco difícil. Ok, let's see. Um, is it coronavirus, dengue fever, or a cold? Well, maybe she has a cold. Let's see the answer. I'm sorry, Daniel. She has dengue fever. Oh, I knew it, but I was kind of confused. Don't worry, we are learning English. That's okay. Now, one question for your classmates. Una pregunta para tus compañeras y compañeros. What treatment do you recommend Maria to take? Well, maybe Maria should take some medicine, rest in bed. Okay. Should Maria exercise? Should Maria rest in bed? Or should Maria take medicine? Oh, that's easy. Maria should take medicine. Very good. Maria should take medicine. Now, let's play a guessing game, ¿ok? Vamos a hacer un juego de adivinanzas. Is dengue fever a disease or a symptom? Well, that's a disease. Very good, Daniel. It's a disease. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's a headache, a, a disease or a symptom? Well, that's a symptom. That is correct. It's a symptom. Is taking a medicine a disease or a treatment? Well, that's a treatment. Very good, Daniel. It's a treatment. Amazing. Oh, here comes the self-regulation activity. Ahora viene el acertijo que les comenté en la actividad de autorregulación. Pay attention to this riddle. A person has high fever and a sore throat. Can you guess the person's disease? Okay, remember to ask your teachers, family, and friends. Recuerden preguntarle a profesoras y profesores, familia y amistades. Okay? Amazing job. Well done. Very good. Now, do you like games? Yes, you do? Because I do. Do you like games? Yes, I do. I like games. What about a role play game? ¿Ok? Un juego de, de roles, about visiting the doctor, the doctor and the patient, ¿ok? But first, let's practice some vocabulary and expressions, ¿ok? With this presentation, vamos a practicar estas expresiones. Expressions when visiting the doctor. The doctor says, el médico dice y el paciente dice. The doctor says, what's the matter? I want to be the patient. Okay, Daniel, usted va a ser el paciente. Thanks for helping. The patient says, 
I feel sick. I have the flu. The doctor says, what are your symptoms? And the patient says, I have high fever and runny nose. <gasps> oh. <laughs> and the doctor says, how many days have you been with these symptoms? About three days. And the doctor says, have you taken any medicine? Not yet. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. Get well soon. Now, you have to practice at home, okay? Ahora ustedes tienen que practicar en casa. Well done. Great job. Now, it's your turn to practice at home. I'm going to be the doctor and you are my patients. Okay, les voy a preguntar. What's the matter? Uh -huh. Daniel is going to help you. I feel sick. And you repeat after Daniel. What are your symptoms? I have a fever and runny nose. Oh, how long have you been taking this? Uh, I'm sorry, how long have you been with these symptoms? Three days. Have you taken any medicine? No. Okay. Thank you, doctor. You're welcome. Now, can you practice at home with your family? Can you practice? Well, I think I need some help. Ooh. What can we do to help Daniel? Mm, let me see. I have an idea. What about if we invite a friend? Oh, a special guest. Yes, we have a special friend. And uh, Eduardo Jesus Sanchez Brenes is going to help us. He's going to perform a conversation when you visit the doctor, okay? Ready? Pay attention to the way he used the expressions. Hello, Eduardo Jesus, how are you doing? Hello, teacher Raving, how are you? My name is Eduardo Sanchez Brenes. Hello, teacher Raving, how are you? My name is Jesus Sanchez Brenes. Let's role play. Ready, Jesus? Here we go. I'm ready. Hello, sir. I'm Dr. Eduardo. What is your name? Hi, doctor. My name is Jesus Sanchez Brenes. What is the matter with you? I am sick. I feel terrible. What are the symptoms? I have high fever and body pain. How many days have you been with these symptoms? Three days, doctor, three days. Have you taken any medicine? No, sir, what can I do? <coughs> well, you have dengue fever. I recommend you should take this medicine and rest in bed for three days. Thanks, doctor, bye. You're welcome, get well. Thank you so much, Eduardo Jesus. You did a great job. And thank your family, your father and your mother as well. Thank you so much. Great help. Did you see? It was very easy. Can you do it at, at, at home? Can you do it? Well, yes, I can. OK, maybe you can practice at home. OK? <gasps> Teacher Raving. What happened? I forgot to tell my mother to take her medicine. You forgot to tell your mother to take her medicine. But you can leave her a note next time. A note? What is a note? A note is a short message that you leave to a person by using a piece of paper. That's a note. <gasps> I didn't write a note. Don't worry, Daniel. I can help you writing notes. Do you want to, to know how to write uh, notes? Yes? Okay. Let's have a presentation. Let's take a look at the way uh, to write a note. Okay, ready? Here we go. Let's everybody write a note. We have to take into account three things. Hay tres aspectos importantes que debemos recordar y tomar en cuenta. 
First, the person's name, el nombre de la persona. Second, the short message. That is el mensaje corto, right? Yes. Also, your name, the person who is writing the message. Oh, that's my name by Daniel. That is correct. Also, you have to pay attention to the capitalization. It means mayúsculas? Yes. You have to pay attention to the capital letters in names. Also, the punctuation with the period. That's el punto, right? Yes, that is el punto al final, the period at the end of the sentence. And we need a clear message. El mensaje claro. That is correct. And here we have an example for Arlene. Remember to take your medicine every two hours and drink two glasses of water by Graven. Pay attention to the capital letters. Prestemos atención a las letras mayúsculas al inicio y en los nombres propios. And also the period. Yes, el punto al final. Very good. Now, can you write some notes at home? Ustedes pueden escribir algunas de sus notas en, en su casa. Vamos a observar algunos ejemplos. Oh, pay attention to this situation. Observen esta situación. Your aunt is sick. She needs to take her medicine. What can we do? Okay. And here we have some examples. Aquí tenemos unos ejemplos que nos enviaron algunos estudiantes. Vamos a leerlos. For Sophie. Remember to take your medicine at 9 a.m. by Charlotte. And we have another situation. Your grandmother needs to drink water. Abuelita necesita recordar que debe consumir agua o debe tomar agua. Vamos a ver esta nota. For Rosa, remember to drink a glass of water at 2 p.m. by Sara. Okay, those were some examples sent by some students. What are you doing, Daniel? I'm writing an, a short note for my mother. Oh, do you want to read it? Okay, let's read it. Vamos a leer qué escribió Daniel. Hello, mother, I'm on TV. What did you write? Yo le quería decir a mi mamá que estaba en televisión. Okay, don't worry about that. But can you write a note to your mother about her medicine? Okay, I'm going to do it. Let me see. Hi, Daniel. <laughs> okay, let's see what he wrote. It says, For my mother, remember to take your medicine at 3 p.m. by Daniel. Okay, nice example, Daniel. Very good. Okay, remember to write your short notes at home. H -I -J -K what is that song? Do you know what time it is? No. It sounds and letters time. Oh, are we going to learn a sound and letter? Yes, hoy vamos a aprender una letra y palabras que inician con esa letra, ¿ok? Today we are going to learn letter Z. Repeat after me. Z. It is not C. Uh, uh, uh. It is Z. That's a cool letter. Yes, Daniel, it's a cool letter. We are going to watch a video and it's a song. That song has many examples of words that begin with letter Z. Do you want to write those letter, those words? Yes? Okay. Pay attention to those words. Daniel is ready. Take a look. He's, all, he's already taking notes. Let's watch this video. The last letter of the alphabet is Z. 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 As in Zelda, Ziva, Zoe, Zeke, Zachary. Z, 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 Z. Zazamarazama, Zazamaru. Zazamaraz, a zig a zaggedy zoo. It's fun to say Z words, try it, you'll see. Zizzly, Zazzly, Zippity, Zappity Z. Z is for zebra, zipper and zoo. Z for zucchini and zeppelin. 
Z is for zither. Zinny and zing. ZD and zombie and zing a thing. What's a zing a thing? It's fun to say Z words, try it, you see. Oh, that was a nice song. Daniel, what are you doing? I'm writing a note for my sister. Okay, now that you know how to write a note, you're writing notes for everybody. Ahora que aprendiste a escribir notas o mensajes cortos, se lo estás escribiendo a todo mundo. Yes, I want to send a note to everybody. That's cool. Okay, but mm, remember to pay attention in class. What words begin with letter Z? Do you remember? Mm, what about Zoe? Okay. Zachary. Okay. Zekal. Zekal? Yeah, a cow with a Z. Well, cows do not start with Z, right? No, okay. Very good. Now, <laughs> let's have this presentation about letter Z, okay? Here we go. It's letters and sounds time. And as I told you, we are learning the letter Z and the sound Z. Z, okay? Here we go. We have some words. For example, we have a zebra. Okay, repeat after me. Zebra. Zebra. Okay, very good, Daniel. Zoo. Zoo. Zipper. <gasps> What? My zipper? Okay, zipper. Very good. Let's repeat once again. Zebra. Zebra. Zoo. Zoo, zipper, zipper, okay. Now I have a question for Daniel and a question for your classmates at home. We have three words and three pictures too. Headache, umbrella. Hey, hold on, teacher Waven. Is that a cow? ¿Es esa una vaca? No, Daniel, that's not a cow. That's a zebra. <gasps> It looks like a cow. No, it's not a cow. It's a zebra. Okay, once again, pay attention, Daniel. So we have headache, umbrella, and zebra. What word begins with letter Z? Let me see. Mm, headache, umbrella, and zebra. <gasps> Can you help me at home? Daniel ocupa ayuda de ustedes en casa. Okay, once again, Daniel. Headache, umbrella, and zebra. Are you sure that's not a cow? Sí, Daniel, estoy seguro que eso no es una vaca. That's a zebra. Okay, so the word that begins with letter Z is zebra. Very good, Daniel. It was zebra. It was zebra. Well done. Very good. Did you get the word? Yeah. Okay. It was difficult for Daniel. That is why you have to pay attention at home. Okay? Por eso es importante prestar atención porque Daniel, por estar pensando en que era una vaca, no prestó atención, ¿verdad? Okay. I have a question for you, Daniel. How many stars did you get today? ¿Cuántas estrellas obtuviste? I want to know how many stars I got. Let's see. Okay, let's take a look. Daniel, can you describe common diseases, symptoms, and treatments? Sí, yo sí puedo describir enfermedades, síntomas, y tratamientos. For example, mmm, If you had dengue, you should, uh, for example, you have fever and body pain, and you should take medicine. Nice job. You got a star. Can you prepare simple reminders or notes for personal use? Sí, yo puedo uh, escribir recordatorios o notas. Okay, very good. For example, for my mother. Remember, I'm on TV by Daniel. Oh, Daniel, come on. 
Can you read words by decoding English graphemes and phonemes with letter Z? Claro, yo puedo aprender palabras que tengan la letra Z. For example, zoo, zebra, zipper. Very good. So you got three stars, Daniel. Well done. Great job. Oh, and remember the riddles answer. ¿Se acuerdan de la respuesta del acertijo? Okay, vamos a leerlo. A person has high fever and a sore throat. Can you guess the person's disease? It was the flu. Good job. Did you get the riddle? ¿Sabían ustedes en casa cuál era esa respuesta? Ah, ¿Vieron? Todos los programas vamos a hacerlo, ¿ok? Now, do you hear something? I can hear. We had Ooh. a good day. I'm sorry. What time is it? So it's time much. to go. Sorry. To But don't goodbye. worry. Remember, next Friday at 9.30 on Channel 4 and Channel 11 Repretel. ¿Ok? La próxima semana nos encontraremos el viernes a las 9 y media. I am Teacher Graving and this was Daniel. Very good. Daniel, remember to wash your hands. Bye bye. See you later, alligator. Bye bye, everybody. See you. Remember to pay attention, Daniel. And wash your hoops. Got a scat.